Hello everyone, it's Andrea here, hello. Um, today I have a little project um, art journal page on my uh, um, index card divider and I'm just playing a bit to try my, my new setting, you know. I got my new battery for the old video camera and everything, so I'm trying to find out the way, the angle and everything, so. Um, I'm working on this divider. It was already gessoed, but it were a lot of stuff going on underneath and it wasn't covering, so I put another cover of gesso on before, uh, after that. And I worked with three or four different shades of red. And here I use the glazing to bring everything together and have it a bit, the drying time a bit longer to. I dried it with heat gun, but. I didn't want to have it dried completely through. I want to be able to lift a part off, as you can see here. And you know, I really like this effect. And here I use a stencil I made myself and trying to find out the position here yeah, on that. I was happy with and uh, use like acrylic paint and a um, cosmetic sponge to dab it on. Uh, with the stencil, I like to use the cosmetic sponge. They are more, much better to control the paint and the amount of paint you put on than with this, um, this, um, what do you call this? Brushes, uh, bristle, bristle, whatever, you know what I mean. And, um, uh, to bring the cat a bit more out, to make it more pop, I use white gesso, uh, gesso, sorry. Going back to German, uh, white gesso, and um, put that in. And afterwards, I go over it with a grey shade. And uh, mainly, I use in this project Amsterdam paint. This is uh, the grey one is a uh, own brand from my my art supply store. I I buy most of my paint. It's for some paint I need for some colors. I use these cheaper ones. They are absolutely okay and not important that they are shiny or very bright. So go with the cheaper version and use it on that one in the gray. Uh, but mainly on this project is Amsterdam paint apart from one golden. Uh, oh, here, yeah, this is my treasure box. I put everything in what's left over, die cut or cut out stuff. And I don't know if you remember the tag I made from Martina. I used these circles, this, all these leftovers. They are in um, pink shades. So I'm getting out all I had and decided which one to use because of the color on it. Now I'm finding even more and more and more. So I won't use them all. And... Uh, of course, uh, now I'm using actually three of the circles with the holes, the bigger ones, and three solid ones. And I knew I wanted to have the the, the bigger ones with the hole on the left side. wasn't sure about the circles, the solid ones. And here I have a cut out um, woman shape from a magazine, I think, and I use it as a mask. And that's um, yeah. Here I use this 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 brushes to get the the outline they are quite good to use when you need a lot of paint but for I don't like them for stenciling so I use it here and here I use the golden heavy body paint it's a, some crimson I think it is and um, oh, I'm happy now and I think I have in my mind you know cat and women hmm. You know, that uh, you will see the sentiments afterwards. I uh, put it in after video, so you will see it on the pictures at the end. And here with the uh, solid circles, they won't stay, stay there. I wasn't sure where to put them. Um, I was sure about the bigger ones. I glue them down now. And um, I won't show you the process of thinking where to put the other ones. Uh, but it ended up on that side, but only half of it. And I think that's um, probably balanced. I thought after I cut off the stuff 
or was uh, sticking over or sticking out to put it somewhere but uh, decided against it because it wasn't working. I tried it here but no, 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 off, doesn't work. And I tried to shade this uh, women's shape a bit more, but it wasn't working with the uh, with the pit pen because of the surface. I couldn't blend it with my fingers, so I'm using my Stabilo, Stabilo Ole, and um, blend it with this blending stump. But that was a big mistake, not. But it was. Uh, I didn't think. Okay, you don't know what you do afterwards, so I wasn't really planning something. So. Because the Stabilo all is definitely not water, so, uh, water permanent. It's not permanent, it's water soluble, sorry. And um, so, yeah, that was working. You will see it at the end. And here I um, shade the circles and blend them with a blending um, stump again with my Stabilo and the other circles as well. And blending again with a stump, yeah. And uh, I think no, that's not. What did I do next? Can't remember. Oh, I the outlines of the cat. Bit of white, make it pop a bit more. I popped. It was okay, but I think it needed a bit of white. Oh, and uh, yes, of course, I stamped a bit, but it was a second and third generation stamping. I didn't want to have it very, very obvious and distinctive, so only a bit in the background. And I have another treasure box with all my shapes I keep, you know, with lids and plastic rings and uh, make this um, little circles with black and white acrylic and uh, that one I'm using at the moment actually is um, a plastic cover for when you buy brushes this brushes and bristle, bristles are protected with this plastic cover and I really like to use that for making circles and that's a lid from what I don't know where I got that from I decided that was too much and removed some of them. They were too solid to me. So, a bit of etching with the leftover black acrylic paint. But I didn't yeah, edge it all around. I want to have it more open. And this is the Liquitex Glossy Varnish. And at that moment when the first drop went on that page, I thought, oh no, no, it's not permanent. It's the Stabilo on it. So I was very quick and brave to do that. I didn't smear a lot. Two or three little spots. You won't see that. It's not really visible. But I really didn't think about that. But it worked at the end. It was so dull and it's much more shinier now. So. You will see here. Yeah. So, a bit of some sketchy circles in there, and that was it. The sentiment I put in later, you will see on the pictures. Okay. I thank you a lot for watching, and I hope I see you with the next video. So, bye bye.